Have you ever had some dialogue that you just want to make a little bit crisper and a little bit clearer so that it's easier to understand for your audience? That's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today. We're going to take a sample of audio and make the voice sound a little bit clearer. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jason Yedlowski. talk a lot about audio in Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve here, but I've got tons of DaVinci Resolve videos that can help you along your journey in learning this awesome program. With that said, let's jump into Resolve. I'm going to show you how to increase the clarity of your dialogue. I'm in DaVinci Resolve here, and I've got a sample clip in my timeline, and I want you to listen to it as I play through it and see if you think it needs to be a little bit clearer so that whoever's watching our video just understands what I'm saying a little bit better. I'm using a lav mic, and a lot of times the clarity on the lav mics are not that great. So I'm going to show you how we can quickly and easily fix that. So let's play through the clip first, and then I'm going to show you how to fix it. Another great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit using the EQ. It's a few simple changes and tweaks that we can do to just increase the clarity and make the voice sound a little bit clearer. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this little clip. Okay, so it's not too bad, right? Not too bad, but it could be better. Now we can make these changes right here in the edit tab and we're gonna be using the EQ. Don't worry, it's really easy EQ work to make these changes, but I wanna apply it on the entire track level because if I recorded with this setup, a lab mic, I probably need to do this for all my clips, not just an individual clip. So we're gonna jump into Fairlight and use the EQ in Fairlight and make those changes that we want. So I'm gonna hit the musical notes at the bottom here to jump into Fairlight. You wanna make sure that your mixer's open. So at the top here, we have mixer. And in our mixer, we have our EQ right here on my vocal track. So I'm gonna double click that to open up my EQ. When it comes to the EQ, I could give you frequency numbers and all that, but that gets complicated. I'm gonna keep it real simple, and we're just gonna use our ears to make adjustments and get it to sound the way that we want it to sound. So when it comes to clarity for dialogue, we wanna increase the higher end frequencies. So if we look at the EQ here, from approximately three to 4,000, up to 8,000 is kind of where we want to increase. But you could just take your default settings right here, play through your clip, grab this 0.5, and just boost this up. And we can see it's increasing our higher end frequencies. So that's what we're going to do first because it's the easiest thing that you could do. And you really don't need to know anything other than grab this point and move it back like this. So we're going to play through our clip. I'm going to grab 0.5, bring it up, and I'm going to drag it back until my audio, my dialogue, sounds a little bit clearer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start with it at zero, play it back, and we're going to make the adjustment until it sounds good, right? We have to develop our ears so that we can hear the sound that we want for our dialogue. Another great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit using the EQ. It's a few simple changes and tweaks that we can do. Okay, could you hear the difference there? Now, you might need a good pair of headphones or a good pair of speakers to really hear the difference, but let me play a little before and after for you. Another great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit using the EQ. So can you hear how it got a little bit clearer there? It's just gonna make it easier for our audience to listen to and to understand what we're saying in our dialogue. Now, we could just leave our EQ like this, but if you want to get a little bit more precise and just fine tune it a little bit more, here's another thing that you can try. So when it comes to our EQ, a lot of times we don't need to boost these things way up on the high end here, right? They're just frequencies that we don't need in our dialogue. But what we can do is change the way our band five is working, right? So if we look at our band five down here, I can click on this guy and change it to a bell shaped curve. And now you can see we have a different shape for our point five. Now, if I hover over my point five, and if you have a middle mouse wheel, you can scroll your mouse wheel and it's gonna make that either more sharp, which means it's affecting less frequencies, or we can bend it out and more frequencies will be affected. So in this case, I kinda wanna bend it out quite a bit to affect a few frequency ranges. So where I wanna look with this point now is somewhere around that four to 8K range, somewhere in there. I wanna play through my clip and I'm gonna boost it up and just move it back and forth until it sounds the way I want it to sound until it's a little bit clearer and a little bit easier to understand. So let's go ahead and do that. Another great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit using the EQ. It's a few simple changes and tweaks that we can do to just increase the clarity and make the voice. So there we go. I think that sounds pretty good. A little before and after for you. Here you go. Here's before and then I'll turn it on for an after. Another great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit. So can you hear it there? It gets a little bit clearer, it's a little bit crisper and a little bit easier to understand. Now, if you want to go just a little extra step further, you could come in here, just turn on your band six, 
and just bring it back just a little bit like that. Now, what that's going to do is just cut out any of those really high end frequencies that we don't want to hear, right? Because like I just mentioned, we don't need that really high end frequency stuff in our dialogue. It's just not necessary. So we could just throw on what's called a low pass filter. So everything above it gets cut out. Everything below it gets to pass through. And this is just going to help get rid of any of those really high end frequencies that we don't need for our dialogue. And as a bonus bonus tip here, if you find that your audio is still sounding a little muddy or a little bit boomy, I do have a video on how to do that, but I'm going to show you real quick what you can do is come into your EQ, just turn on your band one, and all you have to do is grab your band one point and bring it up until it doesn't sound so muddy or boomy. And that's going to help get rid of that low end frequencies that you just don't need. And it's going to further contribute to increasing the clarity of your dialogue. So let's just play through that real quick and we're going to add that in then your audio is going to be sounding really sweet a great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit using the eq it's a few simple changes and tweaks that we can do to just in all right there we go now you're just doing it by ear here right we're listening to make sure that it sounds like we're cleaning it up so just again one final before and after here here's what it sounds like before then i'll turn it on with these few simple changes and it's going to make a big difference another great technique to know is how to increase the clarity of the voice a little bit using the eq really big difference there i think it helps a lot to use a little bit of eq on almost every single dialogue clip and you can even take a microphone that is super cheap and doesn't sound great use a little EQ on it and really make that microphone sound good in your videos. Increasing the clarity of your dialogue here in DaVinci Resolve, it's real easy, a few simple changes. If you like this video, you wanna learn more about editing your audio in DaVinci Resolve in Fairlight, or you just wanna learn more about Resolve in general, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button if you learn just a little something in this video. With that said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Now, hopefully it recorded all that because I did this once already, and for whatever reason, the screen recorder didn't record the audio from Resolve. Hate when that happens, right? But hey, it happens sometimes. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? But we are back to uh, filming. Time to film up the next video. See ya.